In this video, we will see the methods of the session. So basically, the package that we use is javax.servlet.http.http session interface is there. Now, what this interface will allow us to do? The interface will allow us to view and manipulate the information about the session. Manipulate means update, change, such as the session identifier, the creation time and last access time. It will bind objects to the session, allowing the user information to persist across multiple user connections. Okay, now, servlet container will use the interface, HTTP session interface, to create a session between the client and the server. The session will be there, it will persist for a particular time period, let's say 30 minutes, sometimes 10 minutes. Okay, the session usually corresponds to one user who may visit the site many times. As I told you, two users cannot share the session. So, what are the methods and how do they work? Now, the very first method is get creation time. So, this method will return the time when the session was created. Now, this time is measured in milliseconds from a particular date. What is that particular date? Midnight. It is measured from midnight of 1st of January 1970. Okay, and it will return you the details in long. So, whatever you see in red color is a return time. The method name is given in the blue color. And in green color, I have given the argument. Okay, next method is get session ID. This will return the session ID for the session. You have to understand that. The session ID is assigned by the servlet container. Okay, and we cannot change this session ID. So, there is no method called as set session ID. There is absolutely no method called as set session ID. Okay, next. Long get last accessed time. So, last time when the session was accessed. Last time when did the user do some activity? I want that time. Okay. Now. Uh, how will the value will be returned? Again, as you can see, it is long. So, it will return the number of milliseconds since 1st of January 1970. Okay. Now, if I want the servlet context that belongs to this session, I can use a method servlet context get servlet context. Okay. Now, if I want to specify the, you know, uh, max inactive interval, I can set that max inactive interval. कि उसके बाद वो सेशन इनवैलिडेट हो जाता है मतलब फॉर एग्जांपल आई वांट द सेशन टू एंड आफ्टर 30 मिनट्स देन आई कैन सेट मैक्स इन एक्टिव इंटरवल टू 30 मिनट्स ओके बट हाउ शुड आई सेट इट बिकॉज़ दिस वैल्यू इज टेकन इन सेकंड्स ओके सो यू हैव टू डू द थिंग्स अकॉर्डिंगली सो फॉर एग्जांपल आई कैन डू 60 into 60 into 24 सो व्हाट विल हैपन 60 सेकंड्स into 60 so it gives you uh, minutes and then into 24 it gives you hours okay now if i want the inactive interval ki kya set kiya inactive interval so i can write int get max inactive interval so it will return me an integer telling me ki uh, uh, kitne uh, time ke baad aapka session inactive ho jayega okay now if i want the session context session context so i write http session context get session context okay now we can set the attribute we can get the attribute so whenever i want to receive the name of the attribute i have to say object object is my return type get attribute string name so it will return me the value of this particular attribute okay now get value the string specifying the name of the object and it returns the object with the specified name. If I want to know what all attributes are set for this particular session, then I can use get attribute names. And it will return me an enumeration of string data type. It will return me an enumeration of string data type. Similarly, we have the methods for set attribute and remove attribute. Remove attribute, you just pass the string name. Whereas in set attribute, you pass the name of the attribute as well as the value that you want to set now invalidate i have already taught you 
invalidate is used to uh, delete the session okay so invalidate this session then it unbinds any objects that are bound to it and why is is new used is new will return you a boolean value so it is either true or it is false so it will tell you ki ye session naya hai to true value aayega ye session false hai to old value aayega okay now suppose you are asked to create a program to display following things session id whether it is new or old and creation time so how will you write it sabse pehle you have to create a session so session kaise create hota hai http session hs is equal to request dot get session now here i have used hreq so i'll write hreq dot get session is equal to true when we were performing practicals we have written request over here okay so you will write request if you are writing request over here you write request over here also so how do i get session id hs dot get session id naya hai ya nahi kaise pata chalega hs dot is new and how do i come to know about the creation time hs dot get creation time but as you know you know this returns the things in milliseconds right so if you want to convert it into the date format and display it you can write java util date so it will convert it into a particular time format and it will be displayed okay so we will see one or two more programs so that the idea is more clear now in this program what i'm doing is i'm calling my servlet okay and what is the servlet doing the servlet is creating a session okay now once the session is created i'm setting a an attribute and then i'm calling servlet to now in my second servlet what is happening is i am trying to get the session you have to understand that get session ka by default value true hota hai to yahan pe hum log ne value nahi diya hai then also it is considered as true so don't get confused over here okay so request dot get session false matlab jo previously existing session hai wahi uska hi access aapko milega and here i am writing session dot get attribute u name why did i write u name because i am setting the attribute over here you are getting it u name is the attribute that i am setting over here okay so i hope you have understood these examples thank you